Four restaurants with scores in the 80s had plenty of violations to correct after recent visits from health inspectors. From a meat grinder covered in leftover meats to employees touching food with dirty hands. The night team's Tim Gerber reveals what's hiding behind the kitchen door. up, Taqueria Los Dos Laredos in the 400 block of South New Braunfels on the east side earned an 80. Dirty pots, pans, and other utensils needed to be rewashed while spice containers were dirty on the inside and outside. Shelves, handles, and the insides of coolers all needed to be cleaned. So did the floors and ceiling. All expired food handler certificates needed to be renewed. <laughs> Urban Pickle, located in this office tower in the 1700 block of Northeast Loop 410, got an 81. Their cold hold unit wasn't cold enough. The inside of the ice machine was dirty, and the can opener was full of grime and dirt. An employee was seen cracking an egg while using gloves and then touching ready-to-eat foods without changing gloves or washing their hands. Another employee was caught touching ready-to-eat food with bare hands and no hand washing. Medicine belonging to a worker was also found on a rack right above ready-to-eat food. <laughs> Las Concas, Tortoria, and Panaderia in the 1100 block of South General McMullen comes in with an 83. They were cited for keeping the front and back doors propped open, allowing insects to get inside. Nymph roaches were found in a restroom and office area. Ants were also a problem. A reinspection was ordered. <laughs> Thrifty Mart in the 6700 block of South Zarzamora got an 85. Unpackaged meat in the freezer was touching the wire rack and other meats. More meat was found stored on the floor. A meat grinder and slicer had leftover meat and food debris stuck to them. The inspector didn't see anyone wash their hands during this inspection. There were also several flies in the kitchen and a door handle was soiled with residue. That's what's behind the kitchen door. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. That restaurant apparently has the leftover meats. We're also tracking businesses that have better scores. Just scan this QR code with your phone and it will take you to a new mapping tool. We have showing all the scores for local food businesses. The reports go back six months and they are frequently updated.